in a read aloud using screencasting software, students can have all of their actions recorded and capture their verbalization of their thinking. They can use pencil tools, they can use typing tools, and they can use highlighting tools. This is an effective way to demonstrate how we are thinking about what we are reading. Teachers can have students import poems in the public domain and annotate those texts. So I'm, you have your students open up the document, and now they can complete a screencast it think aloud. The goal of the think aloud is to have students annotate the text while also making their thinking explicit and out loud. So for example, as a teacher, I would model this skill, Chicago, by Carl Sandburg. Hog butcher for the world, tool maker, stacker of wheat, player with railroads, and the nation's freight handler. Hmm. Stormy, husky, brawling, city of the big shoulders. Well, I'm thinking that I'm trying, my purpose for reading this poem is to really look at the impact of word choice. And in this first stanza here, I'm seeing a lot of information. Sandberg is very deliberate in how he lists his hog butcher, tool maker, stacker of wheat, stormy, husky, brawling, and his big shoulders. He's really trying to portray this rugged and tough city. So you can see when you record a screencast think aloud, you are able to not only capture the annotations students make, but they're thinking behind those annotations.